Hi, I'm Jan. Thank you for joining me this morning. Today, we're going to be doing some mobility workout, especially for masters and seniors. Do you remember when we, were, when we were younger, when we were younger? Yes, I'm not as young as you think I am, okay? When we were younger, we, we were so much flexible. We have lots of um, range of motion, you know, we can really move, okay? It wasn't an issue. But as we grow older, you know, it becomes, you know, certain movement gets hindered because of the things that we do every day. So today we're going to do something very easy peasy, okay? Everything on the floor, yes, nice, yeah? Everything lying down, well, not all lying down, towards the end we'll be getting up, okay? But all on the floor, easy peasy, so follow me. So I'm going to start with warm up. Okay, making sure you're comfortable, have a mat, okay? If you need to, um, put a towel behind your head, please feel free to do so. So we're going to warm up, okay? We're going to warm up called the open book. So you're going to take up, bend one knee, bring it over to the side, okay? So it's okay if your knee cannot touch the floor. It's all right, okay? So you want to touch this, okay? Bring hands forward. Follow hands, look to the back. We're going to do this six times breathe in and out okay so you see i'm a little bit tight i cannot touch the floor okay but that's okay we're going to work this through three breathe in and out last one now from here I want you to bend your hand, look at this side. We're going to bring it up over our head. Still staying in this position. Breathe in and out. Yes, okay. Do not be afraid, okay. Just according to your body, feel your body. See if this movement works for you as much as you can, okay. So don't force it. We're going to change side, okay, straighten it up, bring your feet, our foot down, change side, coming over to the other side, okay, okay, open and close, look, over, over here, I can put my knee towards the floor, so you can tell which side is tighter, or which side the mobility, you know, is a little bit hindered. Breathe in and out, reach, okay, as your body warms up, move a little bit more forward, reach it out, all right, last one, bend your hand this way, bring it up, it's okay if it's not touching the ground, that's all right, you know, we're going to do our best. Breathe in and I want you to be relaxed. Don't feel stressed, okay? All right, bring it back. Straighten your body, okay? We're gonna do hamstring. I'm gonna lift up one leg. Flex, bring it up. Point, bring it down. Breathe in and out. One more to go. Change side. Okay, point, coming down, flex, bring it all the way up. Point, down, flex, bring it up. Breathe in and out. Last one. Now, we're going to put your uh, ankle over the other leg, okay? So you're going to press this away. And then you're going to bring it down. Okay. Open. 
open. One more time. Change side. Okay. All right, because I've got things in my pocket. I hope you know why. Push this. Breathe in and out. Drop it on the floor. Open and close. Or another way you can, bring it up, bring it down. Bring it up, bring it down. Okay? Now straighten yourself. Okay, now we're going to move. Oops. We're going to move into the workout proper. So we're going to start with bended knees drop. Okay? Now let's see, I can do this without dropping things out of my pocket. Okay, I'm going to run. <laughs> Open up your hands, keeping your shoulder blades on the floor. Okay, you're going to slowly drop. Okay, drop. It's going to be open and close again. Okay, but now you will realize after that warm up, you can stretch a little bit more. Your mobility, you know, is a little bit better from when you just started. Okay, one more. All right. Bring it up. Change side. Okay, let me hold on to my pocket. It's okay if your knee do not touch the floor. Okay, you want both shoulder blades to stay on the floor. Reach out. Breathe in. Now you want to try Put your hands together and open up bigger, reach out, okay? One more. Bring it up, okay? Now we're going to straighten our legs. Breathe in, bring hands together, breathe out. Breathe in, hands together, breathe out. Bring it over your head. Breathe in, okay. Open, relax the body, okay. Do it in a very controlled manner. Being relaxed. Bring it up. Very nice. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, we're going to do our single leg lift. Okay, so you're going to bring knee close to your chest as much as possible. Okay? So what you're going to do is, you're going to breathe in. Okay, so you want to try and see that your hands cannot go through your back. Okay? Engage your core, lift up your legs, slowly, bring it down again. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in. Can you hear a crackling sound? I hope you don't hear that. That's my bones. <laughs> Last one. Change side. Slowly bring it down. Oh, another thing's dropping off my pocket. Okay, bring it close to your chest as possible. Lift this up. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Are you doing okay? All right. 
And we're going to do angel wings, okay? And I normally do this in the snow, okay? So we can imagine we are lying on the snow, open, close. Now it's a little bit difficult because I have my shoes on, okay? So if you're at home and you don't have shoes, it's a little bit easier. I want you to feel your body, okay, when you're doing this movement. How does it feel? Is it easy to do for you? Do you find it difficult to do? I'm going to do one last one. All right, so we're going to take it from the top. All right, bend at knees. Man, reach. See, you can close it together. Reach out. Bring it. Reach out. Last one. Moving on to the other side. Let me hold on to my pockets. Okay, same thing. Open. Reach for your hand. Open. Now you see it. Do you feel that you're getting? It's getting easier for you. Just now was a little bit tight. Now it's a little bit easier. Last one. Okay, we're going to lift it up. We're going to do our leg lift. Okay. Okay, there's things in my pocket. Let's come. Okay, so you're going to lift up. Engaging your core. Come up. Bring it down. Breathe in. Exhale. Last one, change, lift this, bring it in, exhale, bring it in, exhale, see if you can bring it closer to your chest. Last one. Okay, straighten up. I'm going to do the angel wings. Bring it back together. Breathe in. Bring it back together. Bring it back together. We're going to take a short break and come back, all right? Go and have a sip of water. See you soon.
Welcome back. Are you feeling okay? Had some um, water? Let's continue with the second circuit, okay? So we're gonna start with a single um, leg slide, okay? Stand. Don't mind me holding my pockets, okay? So you're gonna keep your pelvic, ensuring that your hands cannot go through. Slide one leg down slowly. Bring it up. We're working this area. Two, slowly, without rocking your pelvic. Three. Four. It's not as easy as it looks because there's a lot of control over here. And last one. Change side. Try not to rock the pelvic. Okay. Use your breath to help you control it. Engaging your core. Bring it up. Down. Bring it up. Control movement. Last one. Relax, okay? Very good. Next one, we're going to do a single leg lift, okay? Again, holding here, making sure that you know your lower abs are also working, your core is also working. So you're going to bring up one at a time. Touch, bring it up, touch. So you can feel, okay, and feel whether your lower abs are working. Making sure your hands cannot go through, okay? Try not to arch your back. Can you feel it? Last one. Okay, gonna bring it down. We'll move on to the next one called the pelvic roll. Imagine there's a glass of water on this leg. So you're gonna drop this slightly without rocking your pelvic, bringing it up. Dropping it again, slowly, control manner. Bring it up again. So make sure the glass of water on this leg will not spill over. We're gonna do one more. Working on to the next one. Now, the glass of water is on this leg. So you're gonna bring this, dropping this leg, and bring it up. Okay, you can bring one hand to feel. Or you can use both hands as well. Okay, so making sure this is not rocking. Slow and steady. Breathe in and out, don't hold your breath. Relax, I know. It can be stress, right? It's like, there's a glass of water. I must be very careful, but I want you to be relaxed, okay? One more to go. Very good. Now we're gonna do a pelvic tilt, okay? So you're gonna lift up, okay? Not lift up your glutes, okay? We don't want the legs to be working. We want this part to be working, so you're gonna lift up. Okay, it's a very tiny movement, okay? Hands down, let's go. Lift. Two. Three. Very good. You can put your hands on your abs. Four. Relax. Five. Last one. Six. And relax, okay? So we're gonna move back to the first workout, okay? Which is the single leg slides, all right? Let's go. Slow and steady. Slide down, slide up. It will be easier if you're on your socks, okay? Because I'm on my shoes, on this rubber mat. I can tell you it's not that easy, but if you are wearing your socks, it will be a little bit easier. Try not to rock when you're bringing your leg down. 
bring it up. One more time. Bring it up. Change side. Use your breath to help you control. Bring it up. Are you feeling okay? Are you with me? Not as easy, right? I know. Breathe in and out, although we are lying on the floor. Continue to do so. We're not done. Very nice. Now we're going to do our leg lift. Okay? Drop one. Up. One. Up. Very nice. Slow and steady. Breathe in and out. You're working your core. Your deep core muscles. Last one. Very good. Bring both knee down. Whew. Now again, imagine the glass of water on this knee. And you're going to drop this slightly without rocking your pelvic. Bring it up. Yeah, so controlling this it's not that easy because sometimes we just tend to flop it down okay so this requires control try not to drop the glass of water change side breathe in and out Yes, remember the glass of water is on this leg now. Last one. Okay. Now we're going to do our pelvic tilt. Okay. Make sure your feet is not too close to your glutes, okay? Bring it a little bit further. Roll, tilt your pelvic. So we're going to just do very tiny movement. Control, breathe in, exhale. Two more to go. Last one. Okay, now we are coming to our side. Okay, we're going to move to our side. Okay, make sure you're lengthening your body. Your elbows, okay, is directly under your shoulders. We're going to just lift our legs slightly. That's right. Slow and control, breathe in and out. Don't flop forward and don't flop to the back. Okay, making sure you're on your side. Lift it up. If you need to bend the bottom leg, you can do so. Last one, very tiny movement. Okay, now we're gonna move to the other side. Okay, slowly move. So this is, this set requires you to come up already. Okay, to move up side. Okay, tiny movement. You can bend your bottom leg, lift up. Two. So you're at home already. Doesn't matter your hair. Yeah. Nobody's gonna see. This exercise is good for muscles and seniors. Okay. Right now, okay, we're going to move on to cat and cow. Okay, so on all fours on the quadruped position. Okay, hands underneath your shoulders, legs. Stack under your hip. Okay, we're gonna stretch up, looking down, and bend. 
All right. Looking up. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Okay, now we're gonna do a bird and dog stretch, okay? Now it requires balance, a lot of core work. One hand straight up, change side. Try and balance yourself. Do it in a controlled manner. If that is too difficult, you can just lift up your hands. One at a time. Or just your legs. Don't have to be so high up, just there. Pushing away from the ground. Okay. Just lifting up those legs, engaging that core, breathing in and out still. Okay. I'm just going to go back to the actual variation. It's a lot of control work here. So you choose your option. Now we're going to move back to our first workout. What was it? Do you remember? Yes, yeah, the side leg lift. Okay, so I'm too far down. This way. Lift up. Bend your knee. Two. Don't have to be so high. Little movement works. Making sure your body is lengthened. You're on your side. Last one. Change side. Slowly move onto the other side. Bend, lift. Away, don't hunch. Away from the floor. You're doing really good. Let me see. Yes, very nice. Control, breathe in and out. Making sure your body is straight in one straight line. Last one. To a bird and dog. Okay, position. Oh, I'm sorry, cat and cow. It's got a little bit confused there. Stretched. Arch. I mean, sorry. Round your back to an arch. Look up. Breathe in and out. Wow, doesn't this feel so good? Last one. Now to the bird dog. If you can. Otherwise, try the other two options. Build those strength and mobility. You're pushing away from the floor. Yet, when you lift up your hands and your legs, you're balancing. So your core needs to come to work. Okay, we're going to do last one for each side. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Come down. Last one. Hold it there. Oh. Come down. Now we're going to cool down. Whew. Quite a workout, is it? Breathe in and out. I'm going to do a side stretch. Into a shoulder roll. Reverse. Breathe in and out. Your next stretch. Just lightly put your hands. Don't press, okay? Other side. Look up. Look down. Breathe in and out. I hope you enjoyed the session. Okay, lying down, floor work. Okay, till I see you again. Please, do all the workouts, okay? Thank you for joining me today. Bye.